Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release of Windows 11. Basically, the first update for the main release in the year 2022. I've just installed it. It is the build 22,000.434. It is the B release for the month of January on Windows 11, of course. Or if you're interested in the code name for this update, it is KB509566, the latest update for the main release. Of of Windows 11 as I've said. Before getting into any details, if you like these videos where we talk about new Windows 11 updates, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's just jump right into it. For those of you who are familiar with the Windows 11 updates for the main release, basically on the second Tuesday of every month, Microsoft releases the B release for that month, which contains all the features that were tested in the previous month's C release. In the month of December 2021, we didn't have a C release for Windows 11, so the B release for the month of January in 2022, basically this new update, only brings us some security improvements and fixes. But of course, Microsoft will continue on and we're going to have on another Tuesday or another day the C release for this month where features that are already tested in the dev or the beta channel of the Windows Insider program will also come into the main release of Windows 11. So as for improvements and fixes, Microsoft addressed a known issue that affects Japanese input method editors, IMEE. When you use a Japanese IME to enter text, the text might appear out of order or the text cursor might move unexpectedly in apps that use the multi-byte character set MBCS. This issue affects the Microsoft Japanese IME and third-party Japanese IMEs. And of course, as I've said, security updates for the Windows operating system. Also, as for every patch Tuesday, Microsoft is also updating and improving the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates on your computer. So this is also a very good thing. A small update, as I've said, but if you want to go into even more detail, you can go and check out the article from the Microsoft website. You're going to have a link to this in the article down below. And here you can find all the information about how Windows Update works, the highlights, improvements and stuff like that for this update, info regarding the Windows 11 servicing stack update. And also if you want to see a more in-depth view of the security fixes and vulnerabilities that were resolved, you can go on into the improvements and fixes section and click on January 22 security updates. And here here you will have an in-depth list with all the applications that benefit as a result of this update and also other information if you are interested in all of this data. So as a recap for this video and for this update, we only have some small improvements and fixes regarding security issues of Windows 11 because in the previous month, in the month of December, because of the holidays, of course, we didn't have a C release for Windows 11. Of course, in the following weeks, we're going to have the C release for the month of January and we'll see about that that what will have new and stuff like that. But until then, don't forget to check out the article down below in the description. You're going to have there more info and also the link to the Microsoft official blog post if you're interested in it. Also, of course, don't forget to leave a like down below if you like these update videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the TechBase channel so that you will be notified the next time I post a new video. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, I wish you all a nice day.